Well, welcome all and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show Take 2. Take 2. We had a bit, of a bit of a malfunction. Things happened as well, so we're doing it again. So, you viewers out there, we can get the second go today. Second go. This is, uh, we rehearsed it already. Yep. We've done a full rehearsal. And on my new computer table and yep. everything's all new here today, so look out. It's pretty exciting. Before we get into the game, you want to tell us something of yesteryear? Yeah, this is Something happened I, six or seven years ago. When I, when I was asked to go up the bush and win the Mail Times by Murray Lawson, who is still working there, as a matter of fact. He said, he's still there? Yeah, he's still, his son's in charge, but he, he does a bit of part-time work. He's, right. he's 80, 81. But he said, come up, I mentioned, he talk, I was talking about football. He said, Barry, what, is picking his, what about you picking your side for the six, best team in the city? I said, I'll do that. He said, come up. And that's how I come up here. This was a headline on the phone on Monday. Wrong way, Charlie. Down. There we go. Barry picks his... Team of the 60s. Right. So this is when you pick your... Well, my, the best place I thought was in my in my era, because I was up there from 60 to 66, whatever I was. And, yep. and these are all players. All these and, super duper players. And, and apparently you made um, block, uh, vice captain or I made myself auxiliary a, captain. Well, I did make myself Deputy captain. captain. <laughs> I did make myself captain, I thought, but, but I, I was vice captain because I was the best rover up there for five years. It was been even Murray, Murray Lawson said it was right too. I was vice captain. There was three or four players from Rapanik, or five of them that were Rapanik's from Rapanik's side in that side. Yeah. The old first rover was Charlie Two. Was second, Charlie Two was second rover for Horsham, and uh, we got about I think we've got about over four hundred hits on that. Video. Yeah, it's a pretty popular video. That was about six years ago, right? No, there you go. Five, five years ago. But anyway, that was one of my... Something uh, from yesteryear. Very team. So there you go, viewers. That was one of my, one of my very good videos. Very good cuttings. Headlines. Okay, well, let's get into the uh, the game that was on the weekend, which was Mount Eliza versus uh, the Pines. And you had a big prediction that the Pines were going to cut down. Well, I thought, I predicted the Pines would win pretty easy, about six or seven goals. I was about 20 goals out. Way out, Con. Way out. So give us the ground and conditions. The back. ground was in perfect. It's one of the best crown, crowns. One of the best grounds and uh, facilities Going around. to watch a game in. Uh, nearly as good as Chelsea. But yeah. if, you, if you couldn't play football on Sunday, Con, you give it away. Give it away. It was. So let's get into the first quarter then. First quarter, the first half. The man Eliza just jumped pines in the first quick. Beg your pardon, the first quarter kicking six goals ten. Can you believe that? Six Tony, goals ten. If you're watching this, Tony, six goals ten. Tony Pepperoni. Tony Mac. Tony uh, Pepperoni. Tony Cornwall is a superstar. Yeah. So six ten to one point. I mean, that was just. It was nearly over the quarter time, Colin. Wow. But anyway, the second quarter was much second the same. Uh, at yeah. half time, the game was practically over because pot for pine because half time that like, analyzer was twelve fourteen. To four two. Okay, so and most of the point stars were not to be seen, Colin. So nine goal lead basically. Especially Aaron Edwards, their number one gun. He he, he was. Where was he? Re, he had about six possessions for the game, I think. Missing. And he's a superstar, but he wasn't. Right. What are they paying for? Well, he'd be on a ground again. Yeah. But anyway, so the, the second third, half. The third quarter. Yes. Third quarter. Not much was happening for uh, the Pines. Yeah. But Guy Henry, I must mention him, yeah. Guy Henry, he's the son of the famous Gordon Henry, who has three sons. He had two, two sons playing on Sunday. Yeah. He was a lone hand. He kicked three goals and he was taking marks around again. He, punched, he, got, he was involved with a few punch up. But he, he, he put in. He was a superstar. Well right. done, Guy. Uh, so, as I said, got Guy Henry. But the most, last quarter. Now I've had most, of, most of the stars from Pines, yeah. Edwards including, uh -huh. and Bonaghetti. Bonag uh -huh. Just battled him, but uh, Bonaghetti tried in the last half. So you want now the third quarter, right? No, fourth quarter. That's the last, the last quarter, quarter yeah. yeah. Man and Eliza were just playing out time. It was probably the most, the most embarrassed, the uh, most embarrassing defeat from the side in uh, one of these finals I've seen for the last twenty years. Shocking, sloppy. And only for bad kicking, yeah. out for Pines, yeah. it could have been. Well, a bigger part, only from bad kicking by Mount Eliza, it could have been a wipeout for for Pines because Completely the wild. final score, yeah. pathetic, really. I mean, eighteen twenty two, Mount Eliza, yeah. the Pines are poultry six goals five. So they kick four goals at half time. Wow. Two goals for the rest of the game. So what a fourteen goal win, like huge. Twelve, yeah, fourteen, seventy points or something. Yeah. 
Tell you I'm what the goal good. kick is. Give us the list of goal kickers, Barry. Go, the goal kicker for Man Alliance, who was captain four goals. He's played a top game. He's a superstar, that fella. Yeah. Van Yeren, I'll tell you something about him in a minute, that, that why he wasn't on the ground early. Matt Davis kicked three, and Heasley, the superstar rover, he's a star, mate. Uh, he kicked two. And for Pines, a guy, Henry, with a lone hand, three goals, three goals out of six. Yeah, right. Bongetti one, Potch one, and Shane Waterhouse with one, one, one goal. So give us the group of best players, Barry. The best players uh, were easier to find for Man Alliance. There wasn't too many passions. I can tell you now, there was a, a, a fairly a full, team, full team effort from uh, Man Alliance, but I picked out about five or six here. It was Van Yeren, uh, Davis, Heasley, Turnbull, Landry, Capkin. Who's the other fellow? But that's that's enough anyway. But they they were just over uh, overpowered. But I still, I still can't get over how they won so easy. Yeah. So for Pines, Guy Henry is out, outstanding. Yeah. Keely played three quarters. Bo Henry's brother, he played yeah. a couple, two or three good quarters. Want to get the second half. And now you want the votes? Give us the vote. We'll go one vote. One vote to Guy Henry for a fantastic game for on the losing side. Yep. Two votes. Two votes to their star Rover, Mobilizers Rover, Key Heasley. And three votes. Three votes for Captain. Wow. Three goals. He, uh, I think four goals, I think. But uh, he was good. He could take a mark. He was a superstar, mate. Now give us the highlights package. Uh, the highlights package. Highlights package. Highlight package oh, or I had this wrote down here. There's one low light as well. Oh, There's a one low light too. Tell us about the low light. Spot on there. In fact, there's probably more one, more than one low light. But I'll give the main highlight. Yeah. High, one low light. But the way this is a high light, high light from Mount Eliza. The way Man Alliance just controlled the game from the first bounce, I've never seen a game controlled in one of these big finals the last 20 years. They just controlled every position on the ground. That's why the, they could hardly score. I kick six goals, five. Wow. I mean, for a team that beat, uh, they beat Man Alliance six weeks ago by eight goals. And they wow. got a big turnaround of 20 goals. Yeah, what happened? They didn't, just didn't turn up. Well, they're going out there expecting the ball to come, like Edwards and Bonaghetti yeah. and now the Star Road. Just, you got to go and get the ball, but uh, I didn't play the game. But anyway, that was in the low light. Low light. The low light was for the, for the point supporters. Uh -huh. They were let down by a, by a pathetic effort from their, their team, the Pines. They uh, should be totally ashamed. They should pay the money back to these supporters who, the money back. who paid to go and watch them play. It was money just, back. It was disgusting. I, I mean, it was disgusting to me, but I don't follow any of them. But I go there to cover a game, but to watch it, it was just. And I'll just give an early prediction. Manalyzer, I can't be wrong, oh. Manalyzer will beat YCW next week. So YCW for me? There because, you go. Just simply because Barry's picking. That's because I've been, I've been two of the last two weeks, they've both been yeah. beaten by 14 goals. So, so that's what's happening next week. But I'll get some money. Up. Yeah, I'm going to talk about Tony Gardner here. Tony Gardner, go. Now, I must, I'll must. i tell you in a minute. But, uh, tell us now. I'll tell you now. Tony Gardner, who was a little superstar from Chelsea Football Club, who. He won the last four best and fairest for Chelsea by a lap. Mm. Last year, I thought he would have been in the team of the year because he had a superstar all season. But I found out a couple of days ago he was picked in the team of the year for the morning for Pembroke. Okay. But he didn't have as good a year as last year. So what, the, what, I'm, what I'm saying is last year. I'm saying that these rat bags who've yep. picked the side last year, that picked the side last year, forgot all about it, and I just sort of we got to sort of try and sweep him up and give him, give him a spot as first rover yeah. in this team of the year. And uh, well done again, Toddy Gardner, because I was talking to his father up the street yesterday, last night. Yeah, right. And I said, he was in a cafe having a meal, and uh, I said, it's about time he's got some recognition because he, he is. I had a top 10 of the Chelsea's about, top six about six years ago, no? Mm -hmm. not, I reckon he'd be up, he'd be just behind uh, Lewis and uh, Mitch Grant. Uh, Tim, Tim Scott Browning, I reckon he'll be number four now. He's right. man. Uh, Toddy Garden, yeah, he's a superstar, mate. And he's still got his fingers still cracked and <coughs> whatever. All right, well, that's the game next week and um, this yeah. week. And uh, So you got any Cheerios, Barry? Yeah, I've got some Cheerios. Alma. Alma, hello, Alma. It's, it's hello. Down. You're Cat out Matt. hunting wabbits. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alma uh, uh, from South Australia. You've got two doors, Mary Ann and Mary. Who was the other one, Mary Ann? The skipper. No, the Professor Ann. Mary Ann. Mary Ann. But anyway, she's got two doors yeah. called Mary. Uh, of course, PH, Sandy, and Carl. So, think go on, PH. You better pretty give good. me, give pretty me, pretty good, is it? Yeah. Give me, give me a bit of a ring next week or one, one day this week and have yeah. a chat and tell me what's going on with Jan, uh, with uh, Jerry and how's your health going, mate? 
Well, I'd like to give him his Tony shot. pepperoni. And uh, I hope everything's going all right for you, Sa him, Sandy and Carlos. Yeah, yes. I completely forgot them. Oh, yeah, Tony Cromwell, give me a bit of a bell tonight, Tony, around a bit after eight or something. We'll have a chat and uh, tell me what's going up in the, the wild western cans. Uh, and that's really, really about all we got for today, Colin, and all my viewers out there. Apart from a little old, um, bit of a, I've got a new setup here. New setup, Colin's yeah. got me a new table, new computer, desk, and everything. Yeah. So it should be sounding better, looking better for you, all my well, viewers. Well, hopefully we've got sound. That's always a bonus. And it's, I just checked the, my, my total of my hits, Colin. It's up to 69,000 wow. hits, right? 69,000 hits. Can wow. you believe it? I don't believe it. I remember when we first started, we waited to get our first hundred. Remember that was a big, yeah. we had a big party, big, wasn't it? Big was a big party. Big party, and now we... we had dignitaries. We had all around the yeah. house there coming around and give shaking hands. His local government. Tony Cornwall, <laughs> 69,000 hits. It takes a long time to say 69,000 hits, doesn't it? You try counting that. So okay. anyway, apart from all that uh, rubbish, but uh, that's all we've got, got for today. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him and goodbye from me.